What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. I'm really excited about today's video because I have been on this really big kick lately about reimagining food and what it means to me and what it means to all of us and how we can make it more exciting for the long haul. So today I wanted to do another experiment. This last Sunday was Father's Day and I surprised my family by making some plant-based burgers by using the impossible meat. We made chili and then we had some burgers. It was a lot of fun until my brother and his wife showed up with actual real beef and turkey to sabotage the whole thing because they don't like to eat plant-based. But anyway, it got me thinking because the people that actually did eat what I made, they were actually fooled. And I was thinking about that concept and how it relates to us all just trying new things and making sure there that we're not limiting ourselves. So today, what I wanted to do was I wanted to update a recipe that I did last year and it was a low carb muffin and it was a savory low carb cauliflower muffin. And everyone was like, oh, can you taste the cauliflower? What is it gonna be like? Yada, yada, yada. Well, no, you couldn't really taste it, but people were very skeptical about how to use cauliflower in a non-savory way. So today we're gonna do just that. We're gonna reimagine cauliflower by making some delicious breakfast muffins. And we're gonna step the video up one more level by showing you how just one easy swap of one ingredient can change the flavor profile and help you to transform the recipe in a brand new way. All right, guys, so if you are ready to roll up your sleeves and reimagine these breakfast muffins with me, then let's get started. Can anyone tell me what type of muffins can fly? Plain ones. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for the studio audience whenever we get one. It's gonna be crazy. They're gonna be like, oh my God, these, these just to give me life. I love it, I love it. You get it, the plain one though? Hmm. I'm gonna go and fly into the recipe. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's blow this popsicle stand or let's make some muffins. So first thing we're gonna add to our food processor or a high power blender, plus in some eggs. These are the base ingredients, remember that. The cauliflower, and yes, it is raw cauliflower. Do not steam it before putting it in. Got some coconut sugar. If you don't have coconut sugar, then just use some brown sugar. If you don't want brown sugar, then you could use some raw cane sugar. A Little bit of baking powder, some almond flour, and some almond butter. Yeah, get the kind with the oil so it's just this smooth. And finally, we are gonna add in this base. So for these muffins, we're gonna use some banana. You know how to peel a banana? Everyone always goes like this. That's the wrong way, look at that. It just, it breaks it and smashes it and squishes it. You didn't know that. Stop shaking your head. You did not know that. Make sure you gotta peel it. Go ahead, I mean, since you know how. He's already, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesse, I'm just, I'm just trying to, you're, people what's up. you're not even, let me see what you know how you're doing. It's a lucky guess. Okay, oh, first up. Te technically, technically, since I started out this way, I mean, it's only logical that you usually would go the opposite end. So we're gonna let Jesse make it, you know, we're, we're really happy for him that he was able to participate in this video. So one banana, two. Remember, this recipe is all about mixing and matching, but just keep the, the base and the core of it the exact same. Now, I was a little bit liberal with the way that I added this stuff into my food processor because this thing is a beast and it will blend up anything, but if you know you have a struggle food processor at home, then please, by all means, put stuff in one at a time. And it smells so sweet already. I smell a whole bunch of almond. And just imagine if you want to customize this further and just adding in your favorite spices. Mm. We just set it off and we're finished. Just like this because again, we don't want to over mix this and overdo it. So take this off. And what better compliment for some beautiful, delicious banana muffins than some blueberries. So I'm gonna add in some frozen blueberries here. Give this a quick stir. And now we're gonna add this to the muffin tin. Give this a quick spray and take a scoop or batter. Put it right into it. And I'm using an ice cream scoop to keep everything as uniform as possible. Now in the spirit of reimagining food, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to customize this recipe. Instead of using banana, we're actually gonna use some unsweetened applesauce. I'm taking it way back, old school, when you used to take your lunch to school and have little applesauce things, or is that just me? 
Don't act like you don't know. You know what I'm talking about. But anyway, you're gonna swap out the banana for some unsweetened applesauce. I did that. I also added in just a little bit of chia seeds and came up with this beautiful batter. And if you're not a fan of applesauce, and I'm not sure why not, you can also use sweet potato. So we're going to swap out the banana and use baked sweet potato. If you don't like sweet potato, you can also use yam. If you're not a fan of yam, you can actually use some canned pumpkin. And I just found out recently that they sell canned sweet potato too in some grocery stores. So that's an easy swap for you. And just to add some crunch, I added in some unsweetened cacao nibs. It's just as simple. And before they bake, I'm gonna add in just a quick topping. That's the frozen blueberry right there on top. For the applesauce one, I'm just gonna add a little bit of granola and some shaved almonds with a little bit of coconut sugar. And for the sweet potato one, we're just gonna load it up with some unsweetened cacao nibs, extra crunch just to exaggerate it. Next, we're gonna cross our fingers and we're gonna put this in the oven and pray it bakes all the way through. I'm gonna bake this for about 20, 25 minutes at 350. Yeah, now these, I now, oh my gosh. It smells incredible, not one hint of cauliflower. But what a great, tasty, and creative way to reimagine food, right? Well, not only is this muffin gluten-free, but the majority of the sweetness is from the ingredients itself, not just from like adding in a whole bunch of sugar, but it's from the banana, it's from the sweet potato, it's from the applesauce, and then we're adding just a little bit of coconut sugar in there. And this can just show you just how far natural ingredients can go in order to make something taste really, really good. I invite you just to make this recipe, enjoy it, and make it your own. You know, as much as possible, don't try to add in too many other ingredients. If anything, change out the base ingredients in terms of swapping out the banana for another sweet and really dense fruit. Um, you could even try boiled or steamed beets. That's another one that you could try to do and then maybe put in like a little bit of chocolate and have your own like red velvet muffin. So the ideas here are just endless, but just keep it calorie conscious. That's gonna help you out much more in the long term because you're gonna be able to learn a lot more about food and how to pair things together, but more importantly, how to reimagine food so that way it is never boring. That's the most important part of this journey. All right, guys, if you like stuff like this, and I invite you to smash that like button below and remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, we're gonna try to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh! Bye, guys.